Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to build a new cloud server on your Rackspace Cloud account. I've already logged into my control panel at mycloud.rackspace.com, and by default, it takes me to the server view. I'm going to start the build process by clicking on Create Server. Now, from this screen, I'm going to give my new cloud server a name, and for this one, I'm going to call it Web. Dot example dot com. As a best practice, I highly recommend naming your server something that clearly communicates what its purpose is as well as what it's hosting. And this is really going to come in handy if your account starts to get a lot of servers on it. From this screen, I can also define what region I'd like to build that cloud server in. And keep in mind, it's good to select a region that's going to be close to your visitors. In my case, I'm going to leave it in Chicago. The next step is to select an image, and the image is going to designate what operating system your cloud server is going to have once it's built. As you can see, there are a lot of different options here for both Linux and Windows. I'm going to select Ubuntu 13.10. Now, one thing to note is some of these images contain operating systems or software that have licensing fees associated with them, so I recommend checking the pricing page before selecting an image to go with. Now, the flavor you select will determine what resources are made available to your cloud server, and that's going to translate into both performance and cost. There are three classes that you can select from, Performance 1, Performance 2, and Standard. Take some time to reference the Knowledge Center to learn about these classes before creating a production server. For this example, I'm going to select Performance 1. Once you select a class, you can increase or decrease the amount of resources made available to that server using the slider here. Now, one of the last things you can do is you have the option of creating a cloud network. This is a single tenant isolated network which allows your cloud servers to communicate with other cloud servers in your account very securely. We'll talk more about cloud networks in a later video, so for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and bypass this feature. I'm going to start the build process by clicking on Create Server, and when I do, I'm going to get the root password for my server almost immediately. Now, this is the only time it's going to be shown to me like this, so I'm going to make sure I make note of it before I click on Dismiss. Depending on the image and flavor you select, it should only take your cloud server a few moments to build, and in the next video, we'll look at the cloud server detail screen and connect to your new server with SSH.